Hello everyone, welcome back. We are talking about the digestive glands and spleen embryology and now we are talking about the pancreas. Uh, pancreas is a very important organ when digestion of food is concerned. It has an endogenous and an exogenous function. However, today we will talk about the embryological origins of the pancreas. This uh, section has been divided into three subsections uh, which would include the development of the pancreas. We will see how the pancreatic ductal system is formed and then we will see the histogenesis. That is how the various cellular components of the pancreas are developed embryologically. So moving on, the pancreas it develops from two endodermal pancreatic buds. So important thing, the endodermal buds. So uh, pancreas develops from endodermal pancreatic buds. These pancreatic buds arise from the junction of the foregut and the midgut. So Junction of the foregut and the midgut is known as the anterior intestinal portal. It is at this side that two pancreatic buds are formed. These pancreatic buds are endodermal in origin. So pancreatic buds, there's a dorsal bud and a ventral bud. What does a dorsal bud do? It arises from the dorsal wall of the foregut. So dorsal wall is <laughs> towards the back, towards the vertebral column. A sh it arises a short distance above the ventral bud and grows between the two layers of the mesoduodenum. So the pancreatic, <coughs> the dorsal pancreatic bud, it arises from the dorsal wall of the foregut. It arises a short distance before the ventral bud and it grows between the two layers of the mesoduodenum. Now it forms the <coughs> upper part. Uh, of the head, the neck, the body and the tail of the pancreas. So then we have the ventral bud. What does ventral bud do? It arises from the ventral wall of the foregut uh, in common with or close to the hepatic bud. So the ventral bud is formed uh, either with the hepatic bud or close to the hep <coughs> hepatic bud. And it grows between the layers of the ventral mesentery. So ventral bud is formed from the ventral aspect of the foregut and the dorsal bud is formed from the dorsal aspect of the foregut. Ventral bud gives rise to the lower part of the head and the uncinate process. So here uh, the pancreas has been divided into a head. This is the head. This region is the neck. Then we have the body, the extended body. And this is the tail of the pancreas. This is the lower part of the head and this is the uncinate process. So this in brown, this entire area, the upper part of head, the neck, the body and the tail, they are formed by the dorsal pancreatic bud, which arise from the <coughs> dorsal aspect of the uh, foregut. A slightly before the ventral pancreatic bud. This the lower, this in blue, the lower part of the head and the uncinate process. This is formed by the uh, ventral pancreatic bud, which arises from the ventral component of the uh, pen, uh, ventral uh, wall of the foregut um, below the uh, origin of um, it. Uh, it originates along with or or in close communication with the hepatic duct. So the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic buds, they grow in size and then they fuse with each other to form the adult pancreas. So adult pancreas is formed by the fusion of both these dorsal and the ventral pancreatic ducts. So we have talked about the components which are formed by the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic ducts already. So now develop and now we'll see how the ductus, ductal system of the pancreas develops. So now the duodenum, it rotates to the right and becomes C-shaped. So the duodenum is now rotating to the right. This, this is the duodenum. Now it rotates to the right and becomes C-shaped. As a result of this rotation, the ventral pancreatic bud, it comes to lie on the right. The dorsal pancreatic, initially the ventral pancreatic bud is on the right and the dorsal pancreatic bud is on the left. The right duodenal wall now grows rapidly. This is the right duodenal wall. It now grows rapidly. The ventral 
pancreatic bud now shifts from right to the left now the ventral pancreatic bud it shifts from the right side to the left side here you can see the shifting now it lies just below the dorsal pancreatic bud here you can see this is the elongated dorsal pancreatic bud and this is the ventral pancreatic bud they come to lie side by side just below oh, the dorsal pancreatic bud so initially the two parts of the pancreas are derived from the uh, pancreatic uh, buds uh, they have separate ducts the dorsal and the ventral we talked about this before there are two buds the dorsal bud and a ventral bud so a dorsal pancreas has been formed now a ventral pancreas has been formed both have uh, now the ventral bud has come to lie just below the dorsal pancreas but both of them have separate ducts so this is the duct of the dorsal bud the bigger one this is the duct of the ventral bud ventral bud is uh, draining in the duodenum along with the duct or, uh, along with the bile duct why is that because the ventral pan pancreatic bud it originates in unison or in close contact with the hepatic bud so now both of these ducts, both of the ducts of the uh, pancreas, they open separately into the duodenum. So opening of the dorsal pancreatic duct is about 2 cm proximal to the opening of uh, ventral pancreatic duct. Here you can see it is slightly proximal and also because the dorsal pancreatic duct uh, originates proximally as compared to the ventral pancreatic duct. Now the ventral pancreatic duct opens, I've told you before, it opens with the common bile duct because it is derived from the hepatic bud. Now this process, uh, this development of communication or anastomosis between the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic ducts. Uh, now the main pancreatic duct with this in blue is the main pancreatic duct now the main pancreatic duct is actually formed by the dorsal pancreatic duct which is distal to the anastomosis so this portion this is the dorsal pancreatic duct which is the um, which is distal to the anastomosis between the anastomosis in itself now the anastomosis in itself is a component of the adult or the main pancreatic duct and finally the ventral pancreatic duct which is proximal to the anastomosis here. Uh, this is the main pancreatic duct uh, and this duct is also known as the duct of Wirzung. So the main pancreatic duct opens into the duodenum in unison with the common bile duct at a major duodenal papilla. The proximal part of the, <coughs> the dorsal pancreatic duct, this is the proximal part of the dorsal pancreatic duct. It may persist as an accessory pancreatic duct. This accessory pancreatic duct is also known as duct of Santorini and it opens in the duodenum at a minor duodenal papilla. So now let's talk about the histogenesis that is how the various components of the uh, cellular components of the uh, pancreas <coughs> are developed. So parenchyma of the pancreas is derived from the endoderm of the pancreatic buds. So the endoderm is responsible for contributing the parenchyma of the pancreas. So pancreatic bud it branches <coughs> out in the sur surrounding mesoderm and it forms the intralobular duct that lies within the pancreas then interlobular duct then the, with the communication between the two lobes and then the main duct the duct that is formed by the communication of both these ducts now the pancreatic sni the pancreatic sni they form they are form uh, they form cell clusters around the terminal part of the ducts so when the once the ducts are formed the pancreatic sni are formed they form cell clusters around the terminal portion of the duct so that they can produce their <coughs> secretion into that terminal portion from that terminal portion that secretion can be carried through the duct into the co uh, common bile duct and with the help of this common bile duct into the major duodenal papilla and where they release that into the duodenum so Islets of Langerhans, they develop from the groups of cells that separate from the ductal system. So when this ductal system is being formed, some of the cells, they separate from the ductal system and they form islets of Langerhans. These are the cells which are 
have other important exocrine functions with uh, endocrine function within the pancreas so this was all about the development of pancreas we saw how dorsal and ventral pancreatic buds were formed how the ventral pancreatic bud changed its site and uh, came to lie below the dorsal pancreatic bud fused with it to form the adult pancreas we saw how the um, primary pancreatic duct and accessory pancreatic ducts were formed and finally we talked about the histo uh, histogenesis of various components of liver i hope you found this present uh, i hope you found this lecture interesting keep watching scardia.com